Hi, welcome to a beautiful morning in Chesterfield. Hey, give me an intent to too. Come here then. I've got my little helper today. We've been doing a bit of uh, leaves sweeping up and uh, tidying the garden, ready for full winter. There we go. Now just say hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Say, catch you later. Catch you later. I've managed to uh, use a lawnmower to get rid of all the leaves off the garden and we're going to get a quick check over the pond before I set up the logger. I've noticed on a lot of Facebook groups and uh, uh, forums etc that the people are arguing and debating the fact to, to heat or not to heat. I've said it many times, you don't have to eat heat, you don't have to eat. The fish are cold-blooded, they're used to cold temperatures and they will just sit and torpor at the bottom of the pond until the water warms up. They'll stop eating when they've had enough and the temperatures get below 10 degrees. But uh, I like to keep them active, I like to keep them moving, which means I can keep them growing. I can still feed them, I can check them out on days like this, and if I need to treat the water for any of the sores that I've uh, still got, I can treat the water. The filter bacteria will still be working and so will the koi's immune system. But what I'm going to do is set the logger up on the heater and record the uh, heater every two weeks the winter so we can get a good average of what it costs. Last year it averaged out at £2.22 per day to heat a three kilowatt heater for a 2200 gallon pond. But we'll have a look at the fish and then we'll set the logger. I've took the covers off so I can have a quick check and they're happily swimming around at the surface uh, looking for bits of food and uh, chasing around us. What do you do? I lifted the covers so I can have a close look and check them out and give them a bit of extra feed, but they seem fine. The water's sat at uh, 17 degrees. You can see the steam rising off the water, but that's basically because the air temperature at the moment in Chesterfield is about 7 degrees. The water's 17 degrees, so the covers keeping the heat in, helping, and that's why we're going to stick the logger on and just see what it's actually costing. So this is a quick reminder of the setup. We've got a four inch bottom drain there that comes up, goes into the Proficlear Premium Compact. It then comes out on a one and a half inch double union valve into the pump, which is a Pond Expert 20,000 very flow, up through the Evo 55 UV, and at the end goes into the heater before returning back to the pond. So about background noise but as you can see the flashing light there the auto top-up systems on I've just uh, done a little water change what we've got there the heater is set at 17 degrees the water temperature is currently 17.2 but I think there's a bit of differential on the uh, uh, actual temperature setting etc on the electro there's no calibration on it it's uh, set at 17 and that's on 24/7 just to double check the other temperature readouts that I've got the Senai says, I'm not sure if you can see that, it says it's about 16.5 and the pond uh, filter system says it is 17 degrees the difference with that is the temperature for that is inside in there the temperature for the Senai is actually a probe out in the water and that's getting the water flow through there so it's not a million miles off what we're going to fit is one of these which is an L component SPC Pro 2 data logger it's got three cables for three phase but what we're going to do is connect L1 which I believe is this one around the live cable so it runs that way and it's going to monitor it for 30 seconds every 30 seconds for two weeks so I'll set the camera up and we'll have a go
So that's all set up, ready to go. So I press and hold this for five seconds for the logger to start recording. Let's check where it's set at. Yeah, it's definitely set at 17 degrees. Just checking the logger, trying to see when it cuts in. I'm going to wait any second now, it should cut in. A little bit of interference. There we go, it's just kicked in now. So let's put in 11.8, 11.9 amps on phase one that's got the live supply, 233 volts. So we'll check that again in two weeks' time and we'll see what it's. Uh, what the total is. This is a data logger that's calibrated and used regularly and what I've done is clamp it around the live feed for the heater so it will monitor that for two weeks. I'll then take the uh, clamp meter off and download the data and we'll have a look in two weeks time what, uh, what we've done. So that's the data logger that's running on just the heater. It's a three kilowatt heater. It's running on a 2,250 litre uh, gallon pond and the pipe work is insulated, the pond is insulated, the pond's got polycarbonate covers on, the back of the shower's got thermal insulation, uh, king span on it and I've done it's probably as much as what I can do to get it uh, uh, winterproof. If you want to comment below what you think the usage is going to be, please do and then we'll see who's closest to who's the best, uh, the nearest to the actual reading. If you want to check out the previous readings, follow the link just here and there's last year's uh, videos and data logging that I did through the winter and I think that's in February and March so we can have some sort of comparison. If you've enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. See you in two weeks. Thanks a lot. Happy ponding.